Miss Elizabeth. I've struggled in vain and can bear it no longer. These past months have been torment. I came to Rosings with the single object of seeing you. I had to see you. I fought against my better judgment, my family's expectations, the inferiority of your birth, my rank, circumstance. All these things I'm willing to put aside to ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Most ardently. Please do me the honor of accepting my hand. So I... I appreciate the struggle you have been through, and I'm very sorry for any pain I have caused. Believe me, it was unconsciously done. Is, is this your reply? Yes, sir. Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure the feelings which you have told me about will help you in overcoming it. Might I ask with so little endeavor at civility why- I, I inquire why, with such evident design of insulting me, you choose to like me against your better judgment. No, believe me, I didn't mean- If I have been uncivil, that is some excuse, but I have my reasons, you know I have. What reasons? You think anything might tempt me in accepting the man who has destroyed, perhaps forever, the happiness of my beloved sister. Do you deny it, Mr. Darcy? You've separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the center of the world for caprice and my sister with derision of disappointed hopes. Involving both of them in the misery of the acutest kind. I do not deny it. How could you do it? Because I believe your sister to be indifferent to him. Indifferent? I watched them most carefully and realized his attachment was deeper than hers. Because she is shy. Bingley too was modest and was persuaded she didn't feel strongly for him. Because you suggested it. I did it for his own good. My sister hardly shows her true emotions to me. I suppose his fortune had something to do with it? No, I would never do your sister the dishonor. Though it was suggested- What was? It was made perfectly clear that an advantageous marriage- Did my sister give that impression? No, no. It was, it was a matter of your family. On want of connections, Mr. Bingley didn't seem to vex himself about that. No, it was more than that. How, sir? It was the lack of propriety by your mother, your three younger sisters, and even on occasion your father. Forgive me. I must exclude you and your sister What's from- What's Mr. Wickham? Mr. Wickham? What are your excuses for your behavior towards him? You take an eager interest in that gentleman's concerns. He told me of his misfortunes. Oh yes, his misfortunes have been very great indeed. You ruin his chances and yet you treat him with sarcasm. So this is your opinion of him. Thank you for explaining so fully. Perhaps these offenses may have been overlooked had your pride, my pride. not been hurt by my honesty and admitting scruples of our relations. Forgive me for not rejoicing in the inferiority of your circumstances. And these are the words of a gentleman. From the moment I met you, your conceit, your arrogance, and your selfish disdain for others made me realize you were the last man in this world I could ever prevail upon myself to marry. Forgive me, madam, for taking up so much of your time. 